Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready to sing and have a good time? Good, me too. So today I have a bunch of songs about birds and bugs and just nature in general. We're also going to need some sticks. So if you have some rhythm sticks or something that you can use for sticks, a couple of wooden spoons, some pencils, go ahead and get those now before we get into too many more songs. All right, and while you're doing that, we're going to sing about some frogs. Frogs that happen to eat the bugs that we're singing about. <laughs> So don't feel bad. <laughs> Next, we're going to sing about a butterfly and a caterpillar. So let's start with the caterpillar. Actually, no. Let's see the butterfly. First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. 
a little chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the chrysalis, my, oh, my, out comes a brand new butterfly. So in that song, we used a combination of American Sign Language and just some hand motions. Let me show you the ones that are actually sign language. This is the sign for butterfly, caterpillar. Some of the words are tricky. In, in American Sign Language, some words just get finger spelled with the actual letters. I have seen this as chrysalis because the caterpillar can crawl in here. It's, it's a tricky word to spell. Um, see or look, those are actual signs. Some of the other things that I did were just, just motions. But let's try that song again. If you want to just sing it, you can sing it and you don't have to do any motions. Oh, first comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. A little chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the chrysalis, my, oh, my. Out comes a brand new butterfly. And if you notice that that sounds like the Christmas song up on the housetop, you're right. It's the same tune, the same music, but with different words. Let's see what's next. Oh, I love this one. It's called Dirt Made My Lunch. You know this song. And in this, we talk about how so much of the food that we eat comes from the earth, the actual dirt. If you think about it, all of our fruits and vegetables grow in the dirt, whether it's from a tree or a vine or a bush, they are grow in the dirt. So dirt does make those things. If you drink milk, a cow gives us milk and the cow eats grass, grass grows in the dirt. There you go. Dirt made my lunch. Dirt made my lunch. Thank you, dirt. Thanks a bunch. is great. This is where you need the rhythm sticks. And this is a song we have never done before. It was 
written by Hap Palmer, who is the man who did the tap your six in the air with a one, two, three. And this one though is called Mother Goose has rhythmical rhymes and a rhythm is a pattern. We, and we've used that word before. This one is going to have two nursery rhymes in it. One of them is sing a song of sixpence and the other is, hmm, I can't remember. We'll find out in a moment. So if you have your sticks, go ahead and get those. And let me get to the right place in our music player. And with your sticks, remember you don't have to tap loud or really fast. You just have to tap so that you can keep the beat and it does and I don't want you to get hurt or for your sticks to go flying off in space anywhere. Okay, so in this one, it's kind of like an echo song, like the alligator song where I sing alligator, you sing alligator. But in this song, um, the singer is going to do something and tap his sticks and then we'll do it together. And we'll do this today and we'll do it in a couple more days. You'll get the idea. Mother Goose has rhythmical rhymes, the ones that you've heard many times. Just listen to the rhymes and the patterns you'll find. Mother Goose has rhythmical rhymes. Sing a song of sixpence. We know those really well. Good. Then, this next one is one that you know really well, because I promised you songs about bugs and birds. And a duck is a bird, right? And we'll sing about Hey Ducky. Thank you. 
one more new song. And this is about some cute little critters, ladybugs. And one, two, three, four, five. And they are cute as can be, but if you are a bird, they also look pretty tasty. So let's see what's gonna happen there. Five little ladybugs sitting on a leaf, soaking in the sunshine in the soft summer breeze. Along came Mr. Bird, as quiet as can be, and snatched one ladybug right off the leaf. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs sitting on a leaf, soaking up the sunshine and the soft summer breeze. Along came Mr. Bird, as quiet as can be, and snatched another ladybug right off the leaf. How many? Three. Three little ladybugs sitting on a leaf, soaking up the sunshine and the soft summer breeze. Along came Mr. Bird, as quiet as can be, and snatched another ladybug right off the leaf. He's a hungry bird. How many? Two. Two little ladybugs sitting on a leaf, soaking up the sunshine and the soft summer breeze. Along came Mr. Bird, as quiet as can be, and snatched another ladybug right off the leaf. How many? Just one. Be careful. One little ladybug sitting on a leaf, soaking up the sunshine and the soft summer breeze. Along came Mr. Bird, as quiet as can be, and snatched that ladybug right off the leaf. Mr. Bird, I hope your tummy's full now. I think it is. Back to the nest. <laughs> okay, friends. I hope you had a good time today. Time for our goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Time to go. Goodbye, everybody. Time to go. Goodbye. See you later. Here at Baby Gator. Goodbye, everybody. Time to go. My friends, Stay well, be healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.